here with Marcito Hesta, who's 28 and 1 with 16 knockouts. Now, you will be taking on Martin Honorio at the Stub Hub on October 3rd. Talk to us about this fight because the opponent is a bit of a spoiler. Yeah, uh, fighting my Martin Honorio excites me to get back again, especially with this kind of caliber of opponent. Uh, we are really prepared for this one. Of course, every fight you need to be really prepared, and we have some. Little changes technique because every opponent you need to change a little bit because not a lot, of, not all your opponents are the same. So we're ready for this one. Let's not forget the opponent that you will be taking on at 130 pounds. He was able to pull off the upset against a power puncher in John Molina. Have you been studying any tapes on your opponent? Yes, uh, actually, my dad, uh, which is my trainer, is the one always like. <clears throat> oh, uh, calling me and tell and we always sit together to watch his uh, technique, the video of his fight, to study and you know. Right now we kind of we are confident and we have some plans for this guy. And from there, I just just need to be really like 100% in training. So we're ready for this one. Talk to us about some of the experiences that you've had in your boxing career. You had a draw against Carlos Molina, mm -hmm. and you fought for a world title. You fought for the IBF lightweight title, and you lost a decision to Miguel Vasquez when you were promoted by uh, top rank. Walk us through those fights. Well, without fight, uh, fighting Miguel Vasquez, it was a good experience, really good, especially with a title, uh, IBF title fight. And for me, you know, he's a different, you know, a tough, uh, not really tough, but a difficult opponent. You know, uh, I learned something from that. Uh, I learned a lot. I grew up from, from that one. So right now, uh, what we've been uh, also doing is, what if I'm going to fight again an opponent that's same, similar style as Vasquez. So I learned from that and I got some technique to, to pull you know, against that guy. So it was all in all good experience, especially for a title fight. You know, when you were promoted by top rank, there was a lot of comparisons being a lefty, uh, being Filipino descent. They were trying to promote you as the next Manny Pacquiao, as the second uh, birth of the Pacquiao mania. Was there, was there a lot of pressure when they were trying to make you out to be Manny Pacquiao? Because you're probably in search of your own identity. You're uh, Mar Marcito, Marcito has Esta. That, yeah. That's who you are. Yeah. Walk us through that. You know, uh, first, it kind of it, it kind of gives me a, a, a you know like pressure and stuff you know because the way they compare me and also like not a lot of Filipinos really went really up you know right. as a world champion like Manny and for me, I think one of the reasons also why they compare me because we're both Southpaw we both speak the same dialect and he's you know, not that much uh, weight different than right. me, and um, I think that's the reason why they kind of compare us. But for me, you know, I'm really humble. People that compare me, that especially with Filipinos. Mm -hmm. But the only thing that I can tell them is I'm a different fighter, and like Manny, he represent Philippines and give honor to Philippines. I'm gonna do the same thing, but in a Mercito Hesta. Not as Pacquiao. <laughs> yeah. If victorious in your next fight, do you want Jorge Linares, who holds the WBC title, uh, Richard Richard Abril, uh, Mickey Bay, or do you want that rematch to the man that you lost in that IBF title? You know what? I get I got some question like this on an interview. Who I'm gonna fight next? My answer is, it don't matter who. Whoever the promoter puts against me in there, especially if it's title, I won't say no. I will fight. You want that title shot? You want to get in that ring? You want to fight? I look forward to it. Thank you and good luck. Thank you.